Hello friends, today we're gonna to take a little road trip down to La Bufadora. It is a natural blowhole and it's located on Punta Banda Peninsula or Cape Punta Banda. It's about 17 miles away from Ensenada and it's down the coast. You should see some very pretty coastline. This is the second largest blowhole in the world and it's the only one in North America. Okay we are headed to La Bufadora. It's 17 miles, however, it's about 48 minutes. So I'm not really sure why. Uh, we're gonna find out why. I guess it's traffic or road condition, something like that, but we'll find out. All right, the way we're going from Ensenada, we're gonna head down there by the beach, by the containers. Remember the container restaurant that we ate at in a previous video? And we saw the beach where the horses were at. We're gonna go right by that. In fact, if you will look to your right, you will see those shipping containers right there to your right. See them? There were the two blue towers, container towers. It's a sunshiny day, but it's, uh, well, partly sunny, partly cloudy, whichever way, if you're an optimist or pessimist on that. But you know what? It's 61 degrees outside, and that is a, a nice improvement over the weather we've been having. There's a little bit of road construction up here and so I'm guessing that's why it's taking the 48 minutes I think that's a minimal 48 minutes to go the 11 miles to La Bufadora from Ensenada depending on what area from Ensenada that you are coming it is usually not this far to go down to La Bufadora uh, because of road construction it was a lot longer as you can see 51 minutes is what was projected to go from Ensenada Central down to La Bufadora at Cabo Punto Banda. As you zoom in, you can see that you've gotten off of Highway 1 and you're on 23 and it's a winding road all the way looping around the mountains there to La Bufadora. Some pretty cloud cover on the top of the mountains up there. 
La Bufadora is a strange thing. It's uh, a lot of people think that it's a marine geyser, but a geyser needs to have thermal action. Uh, this is not that. This is not something erupting from the core of the of the earth. This is where water waves are coming in, and there is a sea cave, a cave underground there that the water gets trapped into, and the air that is in that cave is forced upwards aggressively, even up to 100 feet in the air, 100 feet above sea level. Now, it happens about every 13 to 17 seconds as the ocean waves are coming in, and it is spectacular. This blowhole, La Bufadora, it is the second largest one in the world, and it's the only one in North America. Now, there's another one that is out in Hawaii, the Helona blowhole on Oahu. But that one in Hawaii sends geysers up only about 30 feet from the blowhole. This one on Baja, California is a little bit bigger. There are impressive blowholes in Samoa, Barbados, Sri Lanka, of course, the one we mentioned in Oahu, Hawaii, in New South Wales, Australia, and La Bufadora in Ensenada, Baja, California. So which one is the largest one? Well, that one goes to the Kiama blowhole in Kiama Municipality, New South Wales, Australia. Since we are in Mexico and not in New South Wales, it made sense to go see this. Some of these center block buildings like you see like this, these are houses that are under construction and they are like overlooking the ocean. I mean, they are beautiful views that they have. Can you imagine the view that they are going to have when they are finished? Into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like 
You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile? Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade if you're ready for a good time. Count on me. There's a party. Your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes We are all about the good The good vibes We are all about the good The good times Dance until it feels alright All night We're all about the good vibes All about the good vibes I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes We are all about the good The good vibes We are all about the good The good times Dance until it feels alright All night We're all about the good vibes All about the good vibes After you park your car, there's a little bit of a walk down to where the blowhole is located at. definitely on the gauntlet coming through here because like Renee said uh, they're after you for everything buy this buy that I can't blame them I mean this is their livelihood this is the way they make a living take a picture of the little dog on the donkey take a little you know you got to pay a tip to do it though well uh, I cannot emphasize enough how much stuff is back here. It's unreal. Now, of more interest to me than a bunch of trinkets are when they're roasting pineapple and when they're cooking uh, coconut stuff and all kinds of candies and churros and now you've got my attention.
Hola. Now you remember the one I told you that was under construction that would have a great view? There it is right there. And the view that it will have will be this. Holy cow. Hey friends, thank you so much for traveling with us to La Bufadora. Wasn't it cool? That was really neat. We appreciate you joining us on the journey. Hit the like button if you would please. Leave a comment down for us. We'd love to hear from you and love to be able to talk back with you a little bit about our experiences, about our travels. Share the video. If you've not already done so, subscribe. If you're watching this and you'd like to sponsor an episode of Gene and Renee Travel Adventures, I'll put my email down in the comment and you're welcome to drop me an email and we'll talk about sponsorship or advertising on Gene and Renee Travel Adventures. 